I wanted to do a compiled tier list of every single Skylander. It's a Skylanders tier list. I love Skylanders. <laughs> if you guys don't know what Skylanders is, it was like the first like physical toy to virtual video game like interface ever. Every single Skylander figure. Every single fucking one. This is an entire, it is, there's so much. I want to start with original Sky Spires of Azure. Okay, we're going to start going down this list. Okay. So if you guys didn't know, in Skylander, there's different elements. There's water, fire, life, magic, air, undead, tech, earth, light, and dark. Light and dark only come in, in the later games, okay? They, they don't matter. The rest here are the ones that really matter, okay? And Spyro's Adventure is the first ever Skylanders game. It's amazing based off of the original Spyro. You know, he's one of the Skylanders. We start here. But we got to start with the worst one. And the worst one on this list by 100% is Stump Smash. Stump Smash is the worst Skylander, at, at least one of the worst in the originals. He sucks. Stump Smash is a booty, bro. Fuck it. What the fuck is this? What the fuck? That's horrible. His abilities are fine. It's whatever. Me and my homies hate Stump Smash, bro. Stump Smash, just for reference, is life. He's a life Skylander. So, just for reference, guys, Stump Smash is the only original Skylander in D tier. The only one. He's the only one because the rest are pretty cool. So let's do Prison Break. Prison Break, he's a little clunky. His model's a little funky. He's, he's the only original Skylander, I'm pretty sure. I gotta explain something. So, with Skylanders, how you play the game is you have these little miniatures and you have a portal connected to like your Xbox or something. You put the miniature on the portal and it scans it and sends a light through the Skylander and it scans it into the game. Prison Break, I'm pretty sure is the only original Skylander with the fucking, uh, like, with, like, glowy bits that aren't just on his base. If you look at his actual prisms and crystals on him, he actually can glow. His entire thing glows, which is pretty fucking sick design if you ask me. So Prison Break, Prison Break, immediately A or B tier. I'm gonna put him in B tier because that feels a little, that feels a little more right. Pretty fucking sick. Now, Sonic Boom. It's a Griffin. Sonic Boom, C tier. He's got okay abilities, but his model sucks. His art's cool, but this model is one of the worst I've ever seen. Sonic Boom, booty cheeks. Same with Whirlwind. It's the same thing. This one just looks fucking derpier. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? This shit sucks. This shit is booty. No, you know what? D tier. D tier. Stump Smash and Whirlwind, D tier. Booty. Bad. Now, the rest from here, P. Double Trouble. Double Trouble is the most overpowered original Skylander. The most overpowered because he can make a clone of himself. And it's really fucking strong. Immediately S tier. Fucking Double Trouble is such a cool mini. He's so fucking small. He's just a little dude. And he's so fucking goofy, dude. I fucking love Double Trouble. He's amazing. He's amazing. Oh, oh sorry. I forgot another bad one. Lightning Rod. That's just a man. This is just a guy. This is just a dude. This is just a whole guy. Bad. Bad. Immediately D tier. I don't hate it as much as Whirlwind, though. The air, the air element got a lot of shit. A lot of bad shit in the original launch. Lightning Rod sucks. Now, Double Trouble P. One of the best original Skylanders. Zook. Zook is okay. Zook is kind of whatever. Zook is, you know, he's, he's okay. He, he, he can go in C tier. Go above whirlwinds, you know. He's not the worst. He, he's he's okay. Yeah, Zook is okay. He's just a plant with a rocket launcher. He's not super interesting. He's he's whatever. He's okay. Now we come to shit like Voodoo. Voodoo is hype as hell. Voodoo is fucking sick. Voodoo fucking sick design. Sick art. Crappy abilities. His abilities suck. I don't like them. He's cool though. So he gets put in A tier just because he's aesthetically pleasing to look at. Now we got Boomer. This is a goofy motherfucker here. This is a goofy guy. Look at his splash art. This is a creature. This is a fucking creature chat and I love boomer boomers fucking great he's so silly and his ability is actually kind of decent it's not the best but it's okay boomer gets a tier he's not as cool as voodoo but he's a fucking creature dude he gets a tier his abilities are decent wrecking ball another creature another just little guy he's basically just Kirby like at, like in full honesty but he's just a little guy he goes with B tier he's okay he's not amazing he's, he's okay he's a little lump he's a little lump of a guy now sunburn sunburn I think is the most forgotten Skylander ever abilities are kind of whatever the Design is just a bird. Really boring. C tier. C tier. It's a it's a phoenix. It's just a bird. Boring as hell. Abilities are well. It's just a boring character. Mid as hell. Mid as fuck. Whatever. We another creature. Eruptor. Eruptor is one of the main Skylanders. I think you get with the Wii. He's just kind of mid as hell. He's just like he's got cool abilities, but they're just I don't know. He's just he's so forgettable because he's just a lump, guys. His design is also just whatever. I think he also glows actually, but he doesn't have any of the crystally bits like um pr uh prism break. But he's just kind of. Bleh. He's just kind of a, he's just a dude. So, uh, we'll put him in C tier, but we'll put him above Zook, I guess. You know what? This, okay, C tier, this line right here, this divides up horrible from mid, okay? This is bad, this is mid. This is the line right here, okay? So, we gotta think. Next time we come to a decision, is it is it better than fucking, I don't even remember the name, Sunburn? Is it as mid as Sunburn, or is it better than Whirlwind? Okay, this is the mid line. This is the mid line right here, okay? Between Sunburn and Whirlwind. Now, we got Cinder. Cinder's got cool abilities, but it's basically just a reskin Spyro. 
though. It's okay. It's fine. Cinder's got a cool design, though. So, Cinder, you can go up to B tier. You're not my favorite. You're not my least favorite. You can go above that. You're not mid, though. You're not in the mid tier. Next up, we got fucking... Okay. I I'm trying to do, like, all, like, the okay ones before we get to my favorites because I have, I have opinions. We got Flameslinger. I'm actually really biased against Flameslinger because I had a friend who used to only play Flameslinger and he turned out to be a dick. Flameslinger's okay. He's just kind of whatever. He's just a dude. He's an elf with a bow and he's, he's blindfolded. We got Hawkeye. We got Hawkeye. He gets a B tier. He's whatever. He, 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 you know what? No. He gets to go in C tier. He's just kind of He's whatever. He's nothing great. Hex. Let's talk about Hex. Look at this. That's just a person, right? That's just a person. Now, with Lightning Rod, that's a bad thing. But with Hex, it's fucking peak. Because Hex has cool fucking abilities and the aesthetic is fucking there. This dude is literally just a guy. Hex is fucking with it, okay? Hex, great design, great powers. I wouldn't say S here, but top of A. Top of A. Hex is cool as fuck. Not the best, but she's pretty sick. We got Dino Rang. Dino Rang is one of the rarest or like least known original character. Dino Rang is sick as fuck. It's a dinosaur with boomerangs. You're gonna sit there and tell me that a dinosaur with fucking boomerangs ain't fucking with it? Fucking great. Dino Rang, you know what? I'll put him above Voodoo. Top of A. Top of A. Let's talk about Stealth Elf. One of the originals for the Xbox 360. It's just a person, but just like Hex, is fucking with it. Hyper accessible, one of the most iconic S tier. One of the mascots for the entire series. Stealth Elf is fucking sick as hell. Igniter. Animated suit of armor. Kind of like a fur, it's got fire burning within. Very cool concept. You know what? I'll put him above Wrecking Ball, but he's just kind of... Let's talk about Ghost Rider. Y'all know how I feel about skeletons. This is a ghost skeleton with a mace. Unfortunately, he's not very strong. He gets over Wrecking Ball. He gets over Wrecking Ball, at least. Ghost Rusters, okay. He gets a solid B tier. Wham Shell and Camo. Wham Shell is technically the rarest original Skylander. This is a creature, and I love him. Wham Shell, while being rare, abilities aren't super good. We're gonna put him, you know what? I, he, he goes below Boomer, but he gets an A tier. Camo is really cool. I feel as if the design is not original enough to warrant a good design. I am unfortunately gonna have to put Camo at the bottom of B. You know what? Top of C tier. Zap is sick as fuck, chat. Zap, while very similar in design, abilities are absolute gas. So Zap gets, you know, above Cinder. Top of B tier. Next up, I think is the most unique design in all of the original Skylanders is Drill Sergeant. Drill Sergeant is one of the most unique designs I've ever seen. It's unfortunate that his abilities is absolute booty. He's gonna get bottom of C tier. Let's move to Spyro, the, the this figurehead of this entire series. We have a new midline. Spyro? Boring. What do you think about Trigger Happy? S tier. Okay, let's go to Warnado. Warnado, I actually didn't know about because I'd never seen a Warnado model up until I was an adult. It's just an air turtle dragon thing, but it looks kind of sick. I'm going to put just above Zap. Oh, Slam Bam. That's just a Yeti, but I forgot his model glows, but Slam Bam, he gets a B tier. I'm going to put him below Zap just because I like the Zap design more. Can we talk about Gilgrunt? Man is a fucking like war hero. Gilgrunt fucking... S oh, do I put him over Trigger Happy, though? I'm gonna keep him here for now. Drobot. So Drobot is the most powerful Skylander. S tier. Drobot is goaded, bro. We're in the top three. My top three favorite original Skylanders. First off, we got Terrafin. Terrafin, Land Shark. We know what I think about Shark. His abilities, pretty fucking sick. He can burrow underground, pop out, and beat the fuck out of who's there. He's under Hex because his design is boring. Bash. Okay, I know he's not the strongest, but I love him all the less. He just rolls and he beats the shit out of people that way. Bash, just like Terrafit, unfortunately, is even lower on A tier. The best Skylander of all fucking time. My fucking goat. Chop Chop. He's the fucking best. Oh, and he's even cooler. He's fucking awesome. Chop Chop fucking peak. Top of S tier. Immediately. Okay, now we move on to... Skylanders Giant. Giants, I'd say, is probably the most beloved Skylanders that is available because the innovation and the designs are really fucking cool. Now, we got new minis. We got normal mini. So we have, like, we have mini mini, which are, like, little itty-bitty guys. They're really cute. We also have uh, the normal figures, which is just, like, normal guys. They did bring out a back every single original one, but they brought back some, and then they have the Giants, which is what everyone loves about this game. Let's fucking start with the normal ones. So, as you can see, we got some repeats. Um, That's whatever. We'll start with the new one. First up, we got Shroom Boom. It's a mushroom. So I'm gonna put Shroom Boom pop a B. Then we got Jetvac. Jetvac actually becomes one of the mascots after this game because people lo love this motherfucker. His abilities are okay. He's basically just Air Gilgrunt. I'll put him above Voodoo under Dino Rank. But then we got Pop Fizz, another one who turns into a mascot. And Pop Fizz um, is the Hulk, but he does drugs. Oh, drug Hulk? Drug. He's okay. He's actually, I think he's one of the most innovative Skylanders. So just because of that, I'm going to put him in A tier. I think I like him more than Jetvac and more than Dino Rank. So I'm going to put him up here. Chill. This is a 
This is a human. Get him out of here. I want to add that this is a man tier. Chill. That is a person. Sprocket. That's a person. That is a that's person. A, that's a human woman. That is that. Yes. Flashwing. Flashwing was supposed to be like a like uh like so you know like the crystals I was talking about with Prison Break with that they light up on the like on the portal and everything. Flashwing does the same thing and it's supposed to be like a counterpart to Cinder. But Flashwing's design is really not intuitive here and its powers also suck so it gets a D tier. Hot dog A tier. It's a it's a dog. More. We have Fright Rider. That's almost a person, but it's in the same vein as Stealth Elf. He's pretty close to this is a man. I think he breaks the convention just enough to not be. Still, I agree. I don't fuck with his design. He looks like a goon that I would kill on like level four of like an RPG. You know? You're right. That, he, he's got he's got goon behavior. He's got goon behavior. He's, he's gooning right now. So I'm gonna put him uh, underneath Eruptor on tier C just because I think it's boring. The only cool thing about him is the dead chicken he rides, but even then you can barely see it most of the time. So okay, let's go. Let's talk about let's talk about Cinder. Cinder series two. Cinder series two design is fucking awesome, chat. The model redesign, I think, is great. The extra pink glow in the wings, the choker, the extra color, I think was a great fucking choice. Cinder Series 2, I like a lot more than the original, which means Cinder Series 2 goes under Hex. I think it's I think it's one of the better redesigns. I think it's one of the best redesigns, actually. Here, let me show you Hex's splash art. Hex's splash art is so fucking cool. I almost like it more than the original, honestly. You know what? Hex, yeah. Hex Series 2 gets second from A. Now, let's talk about my boy Gilgrim. He's so silly. Gilgrunt is good. Gilgrunt is a good design. He's so silly looking. He's so happy. <laughs> like the original, he's like serious war man, but now, now he's just a goofy little guy. And you know what? I, I think I like the design more than the original, honestly. <laughs> you know what? I like it more than original trigger happy. Damn. I know. That's saying all. But Damn, we're getting we're getting we're getting silly. bold today. Dude. I know, but he's so silly. Series two trigger happy. Unfortunately, one of the worst. I'm gonna put oh, him yeah, bottom no, of C. Sure. Up near no, you know. You know what? We're going to the goon line. Get the That's fuck up, Skylander. Insane. We have a city to goon. <laughs> Drobot now has the full concentrated power of the sun on his back. That's pretty tight. This and this, <laughs> this represents the degoonerized zone, guys. Not demilitarized, a, the degoonerized zone. If you have a low GPA, like a low goon point average, fuck you. What are you doing? <laughs> you don't need a change peak. Then... Yeah, chop chop! Chop chop, my main <laughs> man, <laughs> my motherfucker, my fucking, my, my rotten little soldier, my goat, my fucking G. I don't think it's as good as the original it's not as iconic but it's still very good here is the whole appeal of this game this shit is pretty this shit is awesome now let's talk about the giants the giants are pretty sick all of you know what i i'm gonna say this off a bit rip i don't think any are below b tier i think the worst one really? is swarm though i think swarm personally has the <laughs> weakest design swarm is still great he's just not the best high b tier right below war turtle the next best though <laughs> for sure on my like the like the second to worst which again very low is crusher i just think it's not a the most intuitive design if that makes sense i'm gonna put it right above swarm next up we have hothead it's just another eruptor but he's big so he's got more detail and i think that's cooler yeah, the, yeah. We're, we're, we're clumping all the giants together here this is like the bottom three and i think they're even so they're still beats here they're still great now we get to the top four ninjini i'm gonna put her above dino right i like yeah. ninjini's design i think it's really cool yeah. next up we have thumpback it's thumpback is fucking awesome it's a whale with an yeah. anchor as a weapon that is so yeah. fucking cool i think thumpback is is right under both hexes. The next best one is 100% Bouncer. Bouncer's design is so fucking cool. He literally has Bouncer's finger guns. Goated. I, I, I want to put him over Hot Dog, but I can't. You know what? Bouncer, low S tier. Low S tier. Now, we come to the best giant, which is obviously Eyebrow. And it's all because of the design, because his gameplay guy. is not great. I do not like how he <laughs> plays. It's all in the design. This is genius. This is perfect. <laughs> chop Chop and Eyebrow, Peak, bro. You know what? He's going under Gilgrunt too. Oh, I for I completely forgot this one. Um, which is fucking uh, which is fucking Tree Rex. Tree Rex is okay. <laughs> now we go to the next game, which is Swap Force, and Swap Force has the unique thing of having swappable heroes. Jade Fire Kraken is awesome. This figure is sick mm -hmm. as hell. That is successful. That is a successful yeah, looking creature. It is a successful creature. This design is awesome. I love this. This is very, this is a successful creature. I like him. I don't think it's the best, but I think it's very successful for what it tries to do. Uh, I'm going to yeah. put it low B tier, right above Cinder. Original Cinder. Nitro Freeze Blade. I like his flash art a lot more than his model. I don't think it's anything special or good. You know what? We're going to the goon line. <gasps> no. <laughs> sorry, sorry, my bad. The, the, uh, the DGZ right here. The degoonified zone. Look at Punk Shock. What is going on here with Punk Shock? Why do they have human lips? Why are they a fish with breasts? Yeah. What? Are they breastfeeding? Yeah. Are they breastfeeding <laughs> the fish? 
<laughs> got them feeties. You know what? We're going to the midline. You didn't even make it to the degunified zone. Um, oh God, we got to keep going. Okay, we got roller brawl. That's also just a person. Like, look at this. That is just, that is a purple person. That's just a person. We we are just racking up the regular people. Holy yeah. shit, it's Riptide. That is the frog from Flushed Away, chat. And he is getting a D tier. Fucking Scorp. This is another Pixar character. You know what? Oh. This motherfucker looks like he'd be in The Incredibles, but die in like the montage. You know what? He's going right, he's going right next to Mr. Mr. Veneer right here. <laughs> then we have Ferno, who actually just looks like a minion. The model is like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the sound he makes. No, like, see, like, like this, <laughs> like, they, like, this looks like, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna kill somebody, and then the model comes hey, up, like, up? I'm <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna lick the nearest candy that I find on the floor. Hey, hey, what's up? My name is Frodo. I'm here to, I'm here to take, <laughs> you know what? I feel like I gotta put Ferno lower just for the model. Model. You're going with you're go you're going with stump smash bitch. What the fuck is scratch? This is literally just a fursona right here. It's, it's an almost cool design. So you know what? Bottom of C tier. Okay, now we get to the actually like decent ones that I think is okay. And then we have countdown. And countdown, it's like almost good. It's too cartoony for me. This, here's the splash art. It 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 looks his Ugh, lips look I almost. Like it. It. I don't know. It reminds it reminds me of the movie fucking uh what is it? Sausage the hot, party. The, sausage yes. party. <laughs> looks like a sausage party character. He looks like he yeah. looks like a disgusting. He Vile looks, he looks like character. he looks like the douche in Sausage Party. Yes! He looks like he'd be a blueberry. Yes. He looks like a disgusting little. He looks like a pervy creature. blueberry. Thank you. He's making oh me God, uncomfortable for some reason. <laughs> me too. I'm making Don't a new tier him. called "Do Not Trust This Man." <laughs> no, it's gonna be unsuccessful creature. Return, return the creature. This is unsuccessful. Zulu. Zulu is Totoro, but cool. He's like Kung Fu Panda and My Neighbor Totoro, but he. He wants to hurt people. Yeah. I am personally going to put Zulu in B tier. And then next up, we have Bumble Blast, which is awesome. Bumble Blast is, I think, one of my favorite new designs. Oh, I don't know. like him. I love, I like his I I love I the design, have... dude. I love this. Dude, I don't, that throat pouch is gnarly. Look, I, I, will <laughs> let, I will let you guys vote whatever you want, but I'm... I'm... I'm taking your I opinions into consideration. Fine, he goes be. below wrecking ball above drill sergeant. I'm sorry, I just can't get my. I can't. It's bleh, the throat pouch is getting to me. I don't like oh my it. God, we got Dune Bug. Look at this dude. Dude, that guy's sick. I, he he does have a sausage party face, but it works. The art looks like it'd be on like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Exactly, Dune Bug. I think is a very good character design. I don't think it's the best. I'm gonna put it underneath Zulu. Mm. Next up is Grim Creeper. Wind up and Smaller Dash. Look at this creature. Look at him. Wind up as S tier. No, it, wind up as S tier in my eyes. But next up, I think is the coolest design is Smolder Dash. Smolder Dash, I don't think is S tier. I think it's high A tier though. And then we have the best yeah, one, cool obviously. Grim for... Creeper. Grim Creeper's the best one. I think the model is much better than the splash art, because the splash art is hard. The splash art goes hard as hell. Like look at this. Yeah. Yo, that guy, that guy is like that guy's red. That guy's stands I know. up. Now look at the He's model. For you. Yeah. The like, model is dopey I... as shit and better. Yeah. He has googly <laughs> eyes and I love him. <laughs> I'm gonna put him with Ninjini. I think he's Ninjini level good. I like it's good. It's very solid. I like it a lot. Oh, we didn't talk about Star Strike. I'm so sorry. Star Strike is cool as hell. But here's yeah. the thing. What are we looking at here? That is some possessed cloth. That is a man. What? No, whoa, 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 really? hold on. Hold on. No. Listen, that is, an, that is an elemental. There's not a that dude a in that. Spectre. I don't know, man. I, there's not I, a man in that. All there's right. There's not a man no. in that. Okay. Okay, the design is low A tier. If, if there's a man in that, then there's definitely a man in Smolder Dash, okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you Sorry. know where this would go? Right above the goon line. Where I belong. Our feet outlaw, gatekeeper of gooning. <laughs> I am <laughs> the goon keeper. <laughs> Foul goon. Get him off near the all knowing. The gatekeeper of gooning! Gideon off there! The all gooning! The loathsome goon eater! The goon line. The goon line. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep moving. We're, we're, on, we're on game three out of five, guys. We need to keep going. <laughs> oh, um, uh, Gilgrunt keeps getting crazier. He's going Gilgrunt more insane PTSD. by the day. If we take a look at how wide his smile and crazy his eyes get, they only get worse. <laughs> top of A tier. Top of A tier. Not S tier, though, but top of A. We'll take it. And then obviously there's uh, Chop Chop. Man ditched the shield and went for the two double swords. Um, it is even cooler. Bro, look at this Chop Chop splash art. This is this is would go on shirts like Oharb. Dude, the text is, I can't go to sleep yet. My bedtime is nine. Yeah, I stay up past my bedtime. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Welcome to Goonit Nam. They're in the Goon Good show. morning, Goon <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's <laughs> let's go to the actual swap characters. That's what we're here for. Doomstone, bad. This is bad. Bad design, yeah. bad execution. End of the goon line, uh, right at the beginning of the midline. Trap Shadow. Trap Shadow is actually hype as hell. Trap Shadow is a great uh, Skylander. Think Bomb and Rubble Rouser are C tier. Um, Spy Rise is is fucking C tier. We got Night Shift. The Night Shift is fucking sick as hell. Night Shift is gonna go right above Voodoo. Gorilla Drilla. I feel like it looks like a sloth, though. It doesn't really look like a gorilla. Exactly. I don't think they convey what they want it to, so it's gonna go top of D. Boom Jet, it's pretty close to a dude. That's a fucked up looking man. I'm gonna put it here in D tier. Magna Charge is okay. I think it's silly. I don't think it's as silly as, uh... Wind Up. Wind up, thank Wind you. Up. I think it's top of B. I think Magna Charge is top of B. Uh, Hoot Loop, it's a magical wizard owl, which I think is hilarious. I think he's gonna be also top of B. Free Ranger, um, I think is really bad actually. I do not like Free Ranger. I'm putting him in D tier. They like to give <laughs> they like to give tornadoes to the bottoms of things. I, 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 I think, think for Swap crazy. Force it works because you know it's like they're like they're able to take off the tops and swap them and shit. Now. Here's the best three. Blast Zone is sick as fuck. Blast, Blast Zone, Zone is what that disgusting little bomb man wanted to be. Exactly. <laughs> Above <laughs> Terrafin. Washbuckler. Washbuckler is the best one. But Rattleshake ties. Washbuckler gets above Double Trouble. Uh, and then Rattleshake, I think, is low S right above Drobot. And that's all of them from Swap Force. The minifigures are here, guys. Look at them. They're so cute. We're so close. I'm sorry. <laughs> We have two more <laughs> games after this. The next one sucks, but the one after that is great. I have very, very, very strong opinions about every single one. Flipwreck, horrible. I get what they were going for, does not work. It looks like it's missing a tail and I don't like it. Exactly. Fling Kong. Actually, no, I am conflicted about this one because at one point mm. I love Sung Wu Kong. I love the idea. Execution, bad. Never mind. I settled yeah. on bad. It'll go bottom of C tier. Spotlight. This is an awesome design. This is a cool fucking dragon right here. Cool design. I fuck with it. I like it. This goes top of B tier. Deja Vu. I like it a lot. I think it's really cool, but it does remind me of a miraculous ladybug villain. It's a cunty jester and I like it. That goes above prison break, I think. Blackout. Just like Spotlight. Cool as fuck. This is a sick fucking dragon. In fact, I like it even yeah. more. It goes A tier. Echo, it's, what is this? It's its mouth? Yes. Yeah. Is yeah, this an unsuccessful creature? Unsuccessful creature. Unsuccessful creature. I know what you're doing, Activision Blizzard, and you disgust me. You sick fuck. <laughs> then we have Rocky right. Roll. I love Rocky Roll. This is Mads <laughs> and Milo. Yeah. This is them. <laughs> this is Mads. This is Milo. They are coming for you. <laughs> They go in A tier. You know what? They're going above Terrafin. Then we have Trailblazer. Look at this model. It is proportionally tiny. Where is I its neck? I like it. I almost Troubling. want to call it an unsuccessful creature just because it looks like it's built wrong. This is an unsuccessful bad. creature. Then we got Batspin, which is like a hmm. not as cool hex. So I'm going to put it like mid B. Like Next up, we have High Five. Um, He's a little guy. I love him. He's like Drobot, but an insect and I like it. So I don't like it as much as Drobot because I don't like insects. But I'll put it, I'll put it mid B, above Cinder at least. Then we got Cobra Cadabra. It's okay. It's boring so it gets a low c then we have fist bump i love fist bump it's a panda made of rocks so it goes you know what it goes right above terrafin then we got treadhead you know he's just a little dude i like it because he's just a little dude i like his i like his silly vehicle i, I like, like his it. i like his silly yeah. vehicle too he's he, he's like trying you know what? he's trying his best and that counts I like the cut of his jib. This is actually my least favorite Gilgrunt model. It's, he looks so stiff. I just want to mention that. Now, fun fact, at least in my head canon, Funny Bone is actually hot dog, but dead. Funny Bone is a dog, a skeleton dog, and I love him. And you know how I feel about skeletons. Funny Bone goes up in S tier, but low S tier because they could have done better. Anyway, Blade's horrible. It's not it's unsuccessful, creature. but mm. it's bad. It's very bad, and I don't like it. I can't mm. even find it. I'm not going to bother looking. Next up, we have Torch. Um, That is a person. Wait, this is a man. Good. Chopper's the best creature ever. Chopper's cute. Chopper's the best. His lore is he's a dinosaur that wants to be a dragon, so he made a flying machine. Ooh. Successful creature. There we go. Uh, then we got Food Fight, and Food Fight is a little asparagus. I fuck with his vibe. I like his vibe. Dark Food Fight is just like the evil hamburger helper version. <laughs> <Evil. laughs> I was gonna say, this is like my dark, dark twisted, twisted version. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost done! We're doing the minis! We got Whisper Elf. Honestly, <laughs> Whisper Elf is actually the worst out of all of them, which is still an A, but it's the worst out of all of them, which is surprising. It's like right up there. Pet Vac. Pet Vac is still an A. He's a little guy. Hi, little goober. Then we have Breeze. It made me eh. like Whirlwind. That's a lot. I That's know. That's saying a lot. Then we got Barkley. He's just a little dude. I still think the pet back is better. We have We Ruptor. This is amazing. We Ruptor's amazing. We Ruptor goes there. Then we got Thumpling. <laughs> Thumpling, I think, is the second worst one. But again, very cute. Here we go. Then we have Small Fry. No, that, I lied. That's the worst one. Small Fry's the worst one. You go fuck there. right there. Then we have Gilrunt. He's just a little Gilgrunt. And you know how I feel about Gilgrunt. Boom. 
Trigger Snappy. Offbeat as a baby. Baby photos right here. That's me as a baby, guys. I, I want to take a look at the splash art real quick because it is actually fucking insane. This <laughs> motherfucker is it's clinically insane. He looks like a zombie from Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> then we have Terabyte, which I fucking love. It's a little land shark, and y'all know how I feel about sharks. Then we have Spry. This is the only good Spy Roboto ever, ever created. And even then, it's still just kind of like whatever. Mini Ginny, which is great. I love how they brought back Ninjini and made her tiny. I think it's very cute. Then we have the best ones. Hijinx. Hijinx is great. This shit is adorable. It goes after that actual hex. Eye small. This is the best one, objectively. In my opinion, it's not, but this is the best one. Drobit, which is a tiny Drobot. And I love Drobot. And now we have my favorite one, Bop. I want you to take a look at the splash art for this little guy. This is the greatest. <laughs> Dude, he's sick as hell. That guy looks like a Pokemon, but in a good way. Exactly. You know? Yes. Now we move to the villains. Look at Enigma, bro. That's this a Hollow Knight yes, character. Really. Yes, bro. I love this character. He does not look like he belongs in Skylanders. This is like a boss in like Elden Ring. This is a shadow creature from the other mm -hmm. realm. But yeah. unlike Enigma, Shortcut is amazing. Successful creature. Successful creature. That guy rocks. Then we have Nightmare. I have mixed feelings on Nightmare personally. Bottom of C tier. That... I, no, you know, not bottom of C tier. Put him right below the goon line. You're right. <laughs> then we have Nightlight. A knight wearing all white and a hood does not sit well with me. This is a man derogatory. <laughs> and then we have Thunderbolt, which is biblically accurate, Zeus. Zeus! Zeus! Your son has returned! Goon! Your son has gooned. He's bottom of C tier. His just designs really block it. I don't like it. Tough mm. luck, which is just furry bait. That yeah. that's D tier. That's D tier. That's someone's OC, and I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. Then we have Blaster Mine. And with the first time I saw this model, I didn't know there was a person there, and I thought it was just a plinth. <laughs> I thought that was the best thing ever. I wish it was just a plinth, guys. <laughs> But right now, that's just a man. I wish it was a plinth. That'd be so funny. Kaboom. I feel like that's a guy. That guy That guy plays football. But yeah. then we got Lobstar, which is peak. Lobstar is fucking awesome. So actually, fun fact, Lobstar isn't actually a lobster. He's like a shrimp who's like built himself armor out of lobsters he's murdered. Lobstar's cool. Holy shit. Then we have Brushwhack, and I, I think that's just a person. That man needs medical attention. I see it. Then we have Headrush. <laughs> There's a lot of men in this There's villainous tier. There's a lot of tier. guys. Is this just a person? I don't, I, it ain't speaking to me, but if it's speaking to you, I'll allow it. I don't you know. know. It's it's okay. It's either a man or very near the goon line. Okay. You know what? We'll put it near the goon line. I fuck with that. But then we got Crypt King, which is the best one. Crypt King, yeah. right there. Look, look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. It's Chop Chop's There's... older brother that you should be afraid of. Then we got Wildfire. This is the splash art. What do we think? He's kind of awesome. But I, I feel like he's a B, you know? I think he's just kind of mid. Yeah. He's going under the biblically accurate wrecking ball. Then we have Wallop. It's a creature, for sure. It's like, There's better designs. <laughs> we'll put him there. We'll put him there. Snapshot. Now available for $34, $38. Snapshot is like Gilgrunt if he like glowed up, you know? Mm. But, the, but I don't want Gilgrunt I don't want Gilgrunt yeah. to glow up. He's cool, though. It's almost like he knew he was lame in high school, and now he's trying to <laughs> so hard to be cool. Exactly. Like, On the other hand, Jawbreaker's awesome. Yeah. Jawbreaker. Fox, dude, that's awesome. Look at him. Big he, robot. He kicks ass. Then we got Gusto, which is a gin with a massive fuck off boomerang. That stance looks like a dad, though, and I can't fuck with that. <laughs> we'll, we'll put him. We'll <laughs> Just... put him high B. We'll put him high B. Then we got gear shift. I'm not. It ain't speaking to me. It ain't speaking to me. I don't know what. I don't know. Got successful Skylanders creatures are a little bit silly and a little bit wacky. This is a little mm -hmm. bit too cool. Exactly, exactly. Now it's time for Superchargers, the worst game of all time. I'm not gonna rank any of these because they're all bad. They, they're all below the goon line. <laughs> what the fuck did they do to Gilgrunt, bro? And what the fuck is Bowser doing here? The only one that deserves to go above the goon line is Fiesta, and that's because he's actually <laughs> just Chop Chop. <laughs> <laughs> you just got shot by Fiesta. <laughs> oh, fuck! God! Fiesta's the only fucking one. Everything else here sucks. Next one. Yeah. Imaginators. Now, here's we have some of the best designs in the entire fucking game. Pit Boss. Oh, I like him. I like Pit that. Boss is cool. That's cool. Pit Boss uh, gets a high B tier. Fair. Then we got Grave Clobber. Bro, it's made of tombstones. He looks so concerned and confused. <laughs> He's just a creature. Look at him, guys. He's just a little guy. I love Grave Clobber. He gets a high rank. Me before the Adderall hits. <laughs> <laughs> Rah! Then we have Blaster Tron, which just looks like a Zerg bot. It I does. love it, though. I love it. Yeah. He gets a high A. Then we got Wildstorm. Wildstorm is like this really cool, like, woodland design. Mm. 
Like, take a look. Like, look at this model. That model is sick. We'll give it a low S. Tidepool? Tidepool I don't fuck with. That's a person. Then we have Robo, which is a robot archer. And I imagine he speaks like Bastion. <laughs> He's just a dude. I love him. He's going up high. I like Robo a lot. Mm. Now, this is the best Skylander you will ever see. Boom Blue. Ooh. This is the greatest Skylander ever created. Not even joking, not exaggerating. This is the best design, the best model I've ever seen. Boom Bloom is the yeah. greatest Skylanders ever made. You know what? Above Chop Chop. Yeah. Holy shit. On design alone. It's like how Pikachu is for Pokemon. It feels perfect. I don't know what it is, but the model, the picture, the art, it is perfect. Anyways, Peñata is perfect boy, and I love him. So many senseis go in S tier just because they're so good. And then we have Golden the Queen, which I actually really don't like because it's just mm. a golden person. That's just a man, and it's it looks a like man. a Hero Forge. You're so I'm right. Like Someone that, who yeah. doesn't know how to paint in Hero Forge. Yeah, that also yes. looks like exactly like a fucking pose from Hero Forge. Yep. Here. We got Ember. Ember's got a cool design. It's like a double-bladed mm. fire snake samurai. I think it goes mid B, personally. I think it goes over Cinder. Then we got Chompy Mage. I think this is Milo. I'm just like all like the scrungly little dudes that you keep scrounging yes. up. And I am just Explody McGunman. Yes, <laughs> facts. And then we got Chain Reaction, which has fucking chainsaws for beards. This motherfucker is hard. Dude, that's just yeah. the Warhammer character who snuck into this game. I think we found our peak A. Then we got Buckshot, which is just, it's like a goat. That's a goon. I say he's below the goon line. I feel like I would kill thousands of those fuckers daily in any game that I play. Then we have Bad Juju. Love Bad Juju's design. I think that's awesome. So many in S tier now. Then there's Flare Wolf, and that just looks like a Kung Fu Panda knockoff character. It feels really unoriginal. I'm gonna put it lower C. That's a person. That is just a fucking person. She has a mortgage. Taekwon Crow, which I think is <laughs> a very silly pun, but I think the design is stupid. That is a stupid design and a silly hmm. pun. Next we yeah. have Barbella, which is just another person. Why are most of the people in this tier actually like femme? Huh. They can't just make a mm. woman look cool for some reason in this game. Yeah. Anyways, Mr. Cat. It is. Horrible. This is, I feel like Skylanders is a prime example of that fucking meme that's like, oh, we need to let them know it's you a girl. You know what? It's an unsuccessful creature. An it's an unsuccessful creature. Well, again, Boom Bloom is femme. Like, there's a couple good ones that are femme. It's Stealth, Hex, and Boom Bloom. And two of those yep. are very humanoid. But anyways, uh, Airstrike is a little goober. I think he's in B tier. No, he goes above Tree Stomp. Uh, then we have Hoodsicle. He does look like a goon, but I do like him a lot. He's like a goon boss. Oh, positive. He's a goon he's like boss. Goon complimentary. He's a mini boss. Goon. Sorry. He's a mini boss. He's yeah, I like that. I like that. Low A. Low A. Then we have yeah. Wolfgang, um, who's a wolf uh, and plays guitar. Unsuccessful creature? No, he's not unsuccessful. Put him low D. He's a creature. He's just a bad one, you know? <laughs> yeah. Then we have Dr. Crank Case. This is an unsuccessful creature, guys. That is an, that unsuccessful, is an unsuccessful creature. creature. Unsuccessful creature. Then we have Starcast. Yeah. I like it. I think it's cool. We'll put that under Chompy Mage. Chopscotch is awesome. It's a skeleton. You know how I feel about this. <laughs> Immediately, S tier. Doesn't matter who you are, what you are. You are awesome. Then we have Tri-Tip, which I just think is boring. So, like, low okay. C. And then we have Kingpin and Ambush. It's, like, so close to Boom Bloom, but it's just mm -hmm. not quite there. It's a little too JMORPG, you know? I yeah. think A tier's a good spot. Like, a Definitely really solid character design, but it exactly. breaks away from the inherent goofiness of Skylanders. Exactly. Yes. But then there's Kingpin, so which is very goofy, but he has Blue bladed yeah. wings i think that's raw's hell <laughs> i think that i think that fucks i think that fucks fuck. and there you have it chat the official skylanders tier list this is every single skylander ranked i thought that would take like an hour <laughs> anyways our top five is boom bloom chop chop in any iteration crypt king I brawl and trigger happy and in our bottom yeah. tier we have these fuckers but the worst offenders are these ones down here an unsuccessful creature it has been three and a half hours i am so sorry <laughs> anyways thank you for coming i'll see y'all later have a good night goodbye <laughs> <laughs>